Well, as promised, today we are finally going to talk about costs. How much did it cost to build our canopy using one sheet of plywood and some epoxy resin? But we still have a lot of painting to do. <laughs> we still true. need to paint the south wall and the canopy and install the little metal parts. Yeah, that's true. So let's start by painting the wall and the canopy and then we're going to install and then we're going to come back and show you how much did it cost. So, so let's get started. I'm Duca. And I'm Roberta. And, and together, together we, we are, are building, building our, our own tiny shipping container house. So don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. Well, when we start thinking about the canopy, we didn't count that we needed to paint the wall before we install the canopy on plates. Yeah, it's it's tricky sometimes to think the whole process ahead, and sometimes we forgot we forget one step, right? <laughs> yeah. This was one of those times because once we install the canopy on place, how are we gonna paint underneath the paint the the canopy? So actually, right now we are gonna apply some rubber paint, and then we're gonna apply some synthetic animal on the top. Animal, animal. Oh yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> synthetic animal. But before that, we already done two steps on these walls. Yeah. And that's we did before because while we waited for the resin to dry, we used the time to do a few steps ahead, of course. So right now we're gonna start by showing you how we clean the wall first with water, and then how we apply rust converter and then we are gonna arrive on this day. So you can enjoy the pass and then you're gonna come all the way to today, but right now we're gonna paint the wall, right? Yeah. So this basically is the kind of paint that they use on the bottom of cars. It's a really thick rubber paint and that's good for insulation and I don't know, also for protection because it's really tough to take off the metal, this kind of paint. And it was really cheap actually, that's pretty good. <laughs> We are finally done. We did two coats of this painting. And now? One week. I don't know why, but we need to wait for one week until it dries. I mean, it can be a little bit less if it's sunny. Hopefully it's not gonna rain. And then in one week, no, in five days, hopefully four or five days, we can paint the other paint on the top of this one. I'm not sure because we like so much the color that we might want to leave like this. But don't worry, we have a lot to send while we wait. We need to send, you know, to finish the canopy now need to send the filler and you know paint and uh, the whole thing yeah we have a lot to do back so. to work then let the fun begin <laughs> So now, the last step before we can install the canopy on place, the final color. We're gonna use polyurethane. Uh, the color is a surprise. It's brown, but we don't know how dark is the brown. Hopefully it's not that dark. It's a surprise even for us. No, I mean, we saw the color, of <laughs> course, but it's just, it's, when you see like a sample, it's like this big. Now we're gonna paint something big, so you know, colors <laughs> change a little bit. Let's try.
someone is enjoying the sunset. It's beautiful. Yeah, we're just waiting for the paint to dry, but you know, decide to come up here. Check out the view. Now, we need to paint all again. But <laughs> the bottom part, this one is the one we need to be careful because this is the, you know, where everyone's gonna see, notice mistakes. What's going on? We need to, to cover. Cover the windows in order to paint around. Yeah, see, they are even celebrating. Seems like they're celebrating that you finally you're gonna paint the south part of the house. <laughs> Fireworks. Yeah, we've been waiting for such a long time to paint this south part of the house. It's a little bit scary to do the final coat of paint, but we need to do it, right? I guess now we just need to wait until it dries. Looks pretty cool, eh? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I prefer the gray than the black. At first we thought the black was better, but I mean, it seems more natural like this. Not that gray is a natural color, but you know, you got the, the point. Yeah, you got the point, look like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so see you guys later when this is dry. Well, let's see how our chocolate bar looks like. <laughs> so, what do you think? Good job, really, really long. Really long. That's pretty cool. <laughs> of course, it's not perfect, you know, smooth, but <laughs> as we always say, this is not gonna go to the moon with NASA. That's just for us. So it's for our standards, it's really good. We really love it. And we didn't have time to do like a perfect surface, but it's really good. But we're gonna wait for one more day to make sure this dries enough and we don't scratch the paint yeah. when we put on place. So today we're gonna work on something else. And then tomorrow we're gonna come and install this. That's the last step. Now all we need to do is to install this on place and it's gonna look awesome. And we actually need a friend to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna clap my finger and we're gonna arrive tomorrow with a friend. Look at that. Don't you recognize the hands? <laughs> As usual. <laughs> so far he, he's, he's, our employee. he's our slave, he's not employed because we don't pay him. <laughs> Good enough. So our chocolate is ready to go. What's next? The scary moment, the one that we've been waiting for a while. We're gonna install the canopy today. We are a bit scared because you know the project is one in theory, but once you put up there the canopy, it's like a lot different. Hopefully it's gonna work. So let's measure this first. Let's do 150. Let's see if this cuts. We did it. We have one. We need four. That's something. But <laughs> should we try one place first? Yeah. So this basically is gonna go here. It's a little bit tricky, but we managed to get them in place. So it's so, working. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really good. What do you think? Will that look good? Seems to be good. Yeah, that's strong. Strong enough. <laughs> I hope so. Cool. <laughs> now we need to wait for Fabio, our friend that's gonna help us to, you know, lift the heavy weight. And he is in the store buying a... Yeah. We're not gonna use this anymore, he's buying a, a proper one. <laughs> and yeah, I, it's, a, it's gonna be a little bit tricky. So let's skip this part and go straight to the tricky part that's more fun, of course, right? Yeah. So, tricky part right now. So now it's time for the truth. Let's see if we can do it. It's, it's gonna be tough. I, let's go. He, he's he always like, no, it's not tough, but he, he's gonna be like crying afterwards.
so it's not on the perfect angle yet, but it's the first try without foul. Holding. Oh, you can let go slowly. Slowly. It seems to be on place. I mean, you didn't fall yet. Yeah. Didn't the fall. water right now. The water comes to this side. You didn't fall. Fall. <laughs> so what's the plan? The plan now is to create a slope that takes to that side the water. So basically, these need to be a little bit higher than that water side. And right now, this is too high. So we are just, you know, trying to get the right slow angle. <laughs> Time for the truth. Yay! That's pretty cool, eh? Okay. I guess we're ready. Now all we need to do is to, you know, put a second one of these clips and then do the bottom ones. And put the... And Oh, and the screws on the top, yeah. yeah. You're good to go. That's pretty cool, eh? Yeah, I like okay. it. As promised, it's, it's about, about time, time to talk about the cost of the canopy. Everyone always asks how much it did cost to cost this, to build this, to build that. And today we decide we're going to give you all the details about how much this beautiful beautiful canopy cost, right? <laughs> yeah. So, here it is. Today we need to welcome a new patron. That's pretty cool. <laughs> We're gonna do it in a different way. We want to write her name on the house. It's just temporary, but just so you guys know who she is. Yeah. You can do it. She writes much better than I do. So, we just want to thank Mosiah Dabuz. <laughs> I'm sorry if we said wrong, but it's just hard name. Sometimes it's hard to pronounce. And we also want to thank our... 20 thousand followers uh, subscribers that's pretty cool huh? yeah yeah we so, thought we would take until the end of the year to get 20,000 subscribers but <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cool so did you guys like the result <laughs> doesn't it look good I mean <laughs> it must look good because you guys watch the future right now <laughs> the canopy is not ready yet so let's go back to the past and let's talk about costs right let's get serious then <laughs> so the plywood plywood as you know this was a challenge for our, ourselves, ourselves, for us, yeah, for us. us. <laughs> we wanted to build the canopy with one sheet of plywood. So basically we have one sheet of 12 millimeters plywood and that costs, let's give space. <laughs> so that's the cost of one sheet of 12 millimeter plywood and this plywood measures 2.5 meters by 1.6 meters. Yeah. And resin, we have three kilograms of resin with hardener. Yeah, basically it's one part of hardener for two parts of resin and the total amount of resin in hardener is three kilograms and cost it? 59 plus uh, 0.22 cents. That's the price, yeah. And we also use fiberglass. Oh, we use it three square meters of fly fiberglass cloth. That's the price. And we also have the filler. The filler, yeah, true. Yeah, to make the filler, basically we use part of the resin and we mix with a powder that's a mixture of microsphere 20%, no, 80% microsphere and 20% aerosol. of aerosol. So we mix these two components together and that's the price. And now the painting. The, no, but the total amount for oh, that. the total amount is this. Yeah, that's the total <laughs> amount. This is the yeah. So now, let's Sometimes go to the painting. it's hard for me to say some numbers, right? Yeah. So painting. <laughs> we decided to try different kind of paints just to see how it goes. We never used PU painting. We also didn't use before. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone say that in fiberglass, polyurethane painting is really good and really strong and, and you know, holds really well. So we decide to use polyurethane primer. That's the price. Yeah. That's the kit price because it includes the primer, the catalyst, yeah. plus the thinner is specific for PU polyurethane. And the brown painting, the final painting, is also polyurethane and costs this price. And so catalyst. Yeah, cut it. Yeah. So the total amount? Is $36.39. So that's all we spend on painting for the canopy, not for the wall. Metal parts. Metal parts. First we use... For the brackets. For the brackets, that was free. This is just <laughs> left over for the shipping container plates that we have a lot actually. <laughs> so that's free. Uh, so we have the clips, the steel cable, the Stand washer. Steel. Stainless yeah, just to make sure you understand, everything we're going to talk about here, except for this, it's all st stainless steel because okay. it's going to be in the weather. So we wanted to use something that's going to last for long. So, going back, clips, stainless steel cable, washer, screws, and nut. And that's the total amount? Yeah, 
the total is thirty one point twelve dollars. Sure. It's American dollars. Yeah, all we are talking about, all the price you're using are all in American dollars. If you are from Brazil, because we are in Brazil right now, we use three point eight dollars. I mean, three point eight reais for one dollar. So basically, you just multiply everything you're talking about by three point eight, and you're gonna get in reais. And miscellaneous. That's. Basically, basically, sandpapers, cleaning stuff, cups, brushes, every you know, small things. Yeah. Sticks. Sticks. The yeah, that's ice cream stick. Ice yeah, cream. yeah, two ice creams included. <laughs> so basically, we had like around fifteen dollars for miscellaneous. Yeah. So time to add all together. So here is plywood and resin, and then is painting, metal parts, miscellaneous with the grand total of. <laughs> A hundred and nine five dollars point thirty five cents. So you can say that it was two hundred dollars to build a canopy yeah. with one sheet of plywood and a lot of resin and some fiberglass and painting. And a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work. Actually it took a lot longer than we thought. We thought it would be like one week challenge. And yeah. it was like more like three and a half weeks. The weather was terrible, it was, yeah. it was really humid. Yeah, that's another thing. When you work with chemicals, you know, painting and resin and everything, you you need to rely on the weather. Yeah. There's no way of painting when it's raining and raining and it's 100% humidity. It's just, there's no point on painting, you know. You need yeah. to wait for two, three days sometimes until you get a good day of painting. So, what? it took us 40 hours to do all the until things this until this point. This point, yeah. But I think we still have like another two, three hours of sanding, another, I don't know, two hours of painting. In the end, it's going to be like 50, 60 hours of yeah. actual work. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. But we hope you guys like it. We hope you guys think it's a cool project. <laughs> Let us know. If you like it, just leave us a thumbs up. That helps the channel a lot. So, you know, just show us that you like it. It's cool. And, and next week, what are you going to talk about next week? I she's don't like, know, depends on the weather. She's like, I, I'm not sure. Yeah. We are relying on the weather because we are planning to do the welding for the the framing of this shipping container. Yeah, actually, we're going to do two welding projects, hopefully next week. One is this, it's just like the support for the framing, but we have another surprise. Yeah. That's going to be something for the outside of the wall, and that's green. That's all I'm going <laughs> to say. It's something with, with metal and plants. Yeah. You, you can use your <laughs> Just a hint. you can you can use your ima imagination. So I guess we we'll see you guys next, next week. week. So the plan to put the the screw on the middle. Wow. Oh, essas beiradinhas que mato, cara, de que se tava quase pendurado. Pause, almost falling. Please don't do that. I will sue you. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> if you do, just don't sue me after the war. I need to make foul sign and waiver. <laughs> just to make sure, you know. I, I'm pretty sure in the States many people do that when someone comes help. So what's the plan for the middle one? They screw right on the middle. One problem at each time. <laughs> That's the plan. The plan is don't think too much. Just do it. So, as you can tell, we have a slope this way and that way. That's foul. <laughs> and now we are going to do the final and final test. That's I didn't gonna, get what's foul doing. I don't know, it's just like a, you know, puppet play. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to, it's me and you. <laughs> yeah, we are going to put some water and see what happens. I don't know. Let's hope the water goes that way. Yeah. Looks good.